The life of this woman, whom we'll call Annie and who's chosen to remain anonymous, was turned upside down in 2003. She suffered from repeated infections and visited several health centres. Annie has been taking antiretroviral drugs every day at the same time for the past 15 years. Every month, like 2,000 other patients, she goes to this hospital to pick up her medication. The centre is supported by Médecins Sans Frontières and is the only one in the country to provide free care to people living with advanced HIV. Many patients are diagnosed too late and are unable to afford treatment in other hospitals. They arrive here in critical condition, some suffering from tuberculosis. A third of those who are hospitalised die. Malheureusement, on récupère certains patients, mais les autres patients ne les récupèrent pas. Au-delà de la tuberculose, nous avons des atteintes neurologiques, mais aussi des atteintes pulmonaires. Ça représente à peu près 85% de nos patients ici. According to the UN, 500,000 people live with HIV in the DRC, but less than a quarter have suppressed viral loads, meaning that they follow their treatment correctly. MSF blames drug shortages and a lack of awareness. Un monde sans VIH, c'est d'abord travailler en amont sur tout ce qui concerne la disponibilité des intrants, notamment les ARV, et travailler aussi dans le domaine communautaire pour lever tous les pesanteurs, ces obstacles-là, à l'accès aux soins. HIV killed around 17,000 people in the DRC in 2020.